go. The Beaver 2000 millimeter by FMS here. 2000 millimeter, I think that translates into like, what is that, six and a half, almost seven feet. Let me just show you guys how big this thing really is. This thing is a monster. It's 3,800 grams, but it runs on 6S, so it puts out 5,800 grams of thrust. Uh, the floats are optional. I have the floats in this video. I'm going to do the wheels. We'll do some bush flying, but I'm going to start it off with some nice water flight. I got some cameras. I want to put one on my chest so you guys can see what my hands do, and uh, we're going to get some good flight. FMS sent me this to review, but as always, I'm going to give my honest opinion on it. If you guys are ever interested in this plane or any FMS products, Click the link down in my description. It'll also be in the pinned comment. I have my own discount codes, Garage RC. It's gonna give you guys 10% off any FMS purchase. So make sure you head over to their website and check out all the good stuff they have to offer. I'm excited to get this thing in the air, man. They say that this calls for a 6S 4000 milliamp, and that's actually what I have. But after opening this thing up, you could probably put a car battery in that thing if you wanted to. There's so much space in here. But as per the manufacturer is how I'm going to fly this thing right now. So let's get this battery in here and plug it up. I left the reflex gyro that comes with this in the plane and I have it programmed. If you guys don't know what a reflex gyro is, it's FMS's version of safe. So that's gonna keep us level. I have it set to a switch so I can shut it off. And with a plane this size, I really don't think we're gonna need a gyro, but we shall see. If you guys are worried about transporting this, FMS made it easy, man. It's just four wing screws and two clips for the wing struts. These floats are huge. I feel like I could sit on top of this thing. I'm just gonna do a little taxi. We'll feel it out. I have my gyro. I got a little camera. I got my gyro set to my H. So that's my flaps. And then I got my gyro. I'm gonna take off with the gyro, half flaps. But I just wanna taxi it for a second. Cause it has a rudder on the float. Seems like a taxi's pretty good. Those lights are amazing. All right, let's get it in the air. Right up, look at that. Shut that off. Might need a little bit of up trim. That's what I mean. You could probably put a huge battery in it. Look at it. Not even touching the remote. We got, what, 15 mile an hour winds today? Oh, wow. This thing does not fly like the size of it. it flies like a much smaller plane. Mm. I'm barely on the throttle. Let's shut the gyro off and we'll see how it goes. Level out. Needs a little bit of. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty dialed in. You know, when this thing's in the air, it definitely doesn't fly or look as big as it actually is. Let's bring it right down center. I'm just feeling it out. When you fly a plane for the first time, you want to stay high. I have the gyro off. Does it need the gyro? Wow. Give me a second to get my thoughts here, guys. I'm gonna go full throttle climb out. That's full throttle. Go inverted. This plane is definitely able to fly inverted lower as well as hover, but I didn't have a boat or canoe with me. So if by chance I landed in the water, this plane would have been gone forever. It's always better to play it safe. Fly well, good inverted. Bring it low. I'm gonna come some flaps. We'll see what the flaps do. See if it slows it down big time. I still have the gyro off. I'm gonna turn the gyro on now. Full flaps. We'll bring it nice and slow. We'll see what it does. For a plane this size, this thing is flying nice. Doesn't want to wing tip over, which is good. Let's do a little, let's do a little land here. Ooh. 
Ooh, tail's touching. First impressions of this thing right off the rip, it doesn't fly like its size. It flies like a much smaller plane. Um, 6S, it has plenty of power to do whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to send it up again. I want to put a, a camera inside. I want to throw a camera on the tail. And we'll see if we get some uh, point of view. I wonder if this thing will taxi itself onto the land. There you go. You want to hop on? Coming slow. I want to see how fast I can.
I must say, I'm more of a stunt pilot, or rather flying stunts than bush planes, but I think I have a new favorite plane. This thing handles way better than I thought. The size of the wings and the weight of it, it's just like perfectly designed. So it was windy out, it was fighting the wind, no problem. It's able to go inverted and fly upside down, no problem. Doesn't have a crazy roll rate. I had an audience, so I was a little nervous. I didn't bring it into a hover. But uh, all in all, this is a great plane by FMS. They really take these things to the next level. Uh, if you guys are interested in this, like I said, the link is down below in the description. And I will be filming a lot more with this plane. So as always, thanks for watching. Until next time. You want to get